Sand animation is one of those esoteric animation techniques that no animator ever thinks they're going to get into. My animation has always been rooted in drawing. I never thought that I would be pushing grains of sand around on a piece of glass. And yet when I tried the sand, it was so physical, almost sculptural, and yet at the same time so fluid. It was almost as if it was a liquid drawing coming to life under my fingertips. I could sit in the camera room for hours pushing the sand around, morphing it into different shapes, playing with textures. It's just such a beautiful medium for animation. So the first sand film that I did was this joyful exploration of the technique. I was discovering which tools worked, which tools didn't, how to add color to this black and white medium translating some of the things I love to do in drawing into the sand. Digital technology has completely revolutionized my workflow. Sand has a lot of physical limitations, but when I started to think of the computer as a creative tool rather than a creative end, so many options started opening up before me. I've really tried to capitalize on that in a tangled tail. Working in After Effects, I can take my footage and I can make cinematic camera moves. I have all sorts of options for blending colors and textures. I always try to stay rooted to physical materials in my work. I love combining techniques and exploring different mediums and how they interact together. And if I have to wash my hands at the end of the day, that's always a good thing. I wanted this film to be an intertwining of the digital and the organic. A Tangled Tale is an underwater love story. It's about attraction and fate and the complexities of falling in love. My films usually start with an image that I can't get out of my mind. I had the beginnings of this story scribbled on pages of my sketchbook and and it sat there for years. Then when I started working with the sand, it was almost as if those two fish came swimming out of my unconsciousness to tell me that it was their time. Part of the process of becoming an artist is learning to trust your intuition and also learning to trust the work as something outside of yourself that is ready to come into being. When I work directly under the camera, I'm always moving forward. There is no way to turn back. And having that forward momentum is really stimulating creatively. So it's been a long journey and I'm really psyched to be at this stage in the process where I get to send the film out to the world and see where it'll go. And I always get this question at film festivals, people want to know how long does it take to make an animated film? And I would just say you can go back to my Kickstarter video and I have not cut my hair since I started this film. So there you go. That's how long it takes to make a film.